So Carly, here we are in Excel. Here's your spreadsheet. Here's your um, time and your temperature, and here's the chart. The best way to put a trend line there and there is to break apart the data into two parts and then just add trend line. Now I'm using 2007. You may be using 2003 or earlier. What we're going to do is we're going to make it easier on ourselves. We're actually going to uh, Control Z there. I messed it up. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to highlight. The, all this data here and move it to a different sheet and clean it up a little bit because it's too hard with all that spaces and stuff. So I'm going to highlight it, Control C. I'm going to click on the second sheet. I'm going to type time here, tab, and then temp. And then I'm going to click right there and Control V. That didn't get it, so I'm going to go back over here, Control C for copy, and then click on this sheet, Control V. And then I'm going to highlight the column, and I'm going to hit the F5 key, which is go to. And then I'm going to hit special, and I'm going to say blanks. I'm going to special. This highlights all the blanks. Very carefully, I'm going to right click one of the highlighted cells and delete. It says, do you want to set shift cells up? OK. Now, we're going to make a. Uh, a line chart, and it will tell us. I'll show you a little trick here. Um, can highlight all the data. There's lots of ways to do that. Um, the fastest way, if I get rid of all that, is to click in the top two cells and then hold the Control and Shift key and the down arrow, and that highlights everything. You need to go to Chart Wizard, Insert Chart, and then in Step One, you need to hit uh, X Y Scatter Diagram. I have to in 2007 go to Insert Charts and then XY Scatter Diagram. And then you click OK. Uh, we're going to delete that right there. And what I want to see is I want to, and this will work in all versions, point to it and you'll see your screen tip. It says 335, so we don't want that data point. And this one says 300 right there. Point to it and it says 370 approximately. So I'm actually going to go delete those values and make two different charts. Somewhere even close will get us our trend, which is what we want. Uh, so it's 335 right there all the way to 370. So I'm just going to delete those. We don't need those. Then I'm going to put uh, time 2 and temp 2. Now I'm going to make a, a new chart. Let's see, where, where's that chart? OK, so I deleted that chart. Good. I'm going to make a chart of all this, highlight all the data, and then go to, um, you need to go to Chart Wizard. I'm just going to go to uh, Scatter. And we got that one. Now we need to add. And you're going to have to uh, oh, um, uh, right click. Oh, no, you're going to have to highlight on your chart in 2003 if you're using that. And click back on the chart wizard and go to step two. And you're going to have to actually go to the series tab on step two to add your data. I have to, in 2007, go to design, um, design and then select data. And now I need to add. This looks totally different than it did in earlier versions. So Carly, you're going to have to um, find the Add button, which is totally obvious in the Series tab in Step 2 of Chart Wizard. Just click back on Chart Wizard. All right, I'm going to Add. I'm going to say Series Name. I'm going to scroll down here and get uh, uh, this name right here. And then the X values, I'm going to highlight all of these. Those are the x values, the time. And the y values, make sure that that's deleted before you highlight this. But I'm going to go get my y values, Control Shift Down arrow to highlight all that. Then I'm going to click OK, click OK, and see if that works. Oh, yeah, but we have this little dot right here. What's that dot? This is messing up the whole chart. We have like a 0 somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed up totally. Oh, no, there it is. This is the old chart. So this is the old one. I got tricked. Delete. See, it did work. There's our chart right there. And now you can simply, in, in both versions, right click and say Add Trend Line. If you can't right click Add Trend Line, uh, let's see. I'm looking over here. Um, oh, it does. It works in all versions. Add Trend Line. This looks totally different than earlier versions. You'll have to. Um, 
there's two um, parts to it. You click on the linear, and then you have to click on the options tab. And then I go down here and say display equation and R squared just for kicks. So that's for that top one. Then click close, and there's that. And this equation will show up, and you have to click and drag it off to the side. And then you click here, right click, add trend line linear and then say this. You Again, you have two tabs to deal with, but that's the main part. Linear in the first one, and then these on the second option tab. And that's how you could add uh, two data sets and two linear trend lines. All right, um, we'll see you next Boomerang tournament.